All right, so we have this chemical reaction that produces ammonia, and according to this, it releases 161.6 kilojoules. The question is, how much chemical has to react to release this much energy? You know, if we have a lot of ammonia, ammonia forming, we're going to get more energy out. So there needs to be some way to quantify this, and there's a few ways. One is, if we know how much N2 reacts, we know that for every one mole of N2 that reacts, 161.6 kilojoules is released. So if three moles of N2 reacts, three times this amount is going to be released. So if you know how much N2 reacts, you'll figure it out. Alternatively, if you know how much H2 reacts, and there's a three here, so that means it takes three moles of H2 reacting to release 161.6 kilojoules. So if only one mole of H2 reacts, then we're only going to get a third of this value. And the last thing we could write is that if two moles of NH3 reacts, well, that will release 161.6 kilojoules. So any one of these three exchange rates can work in figuring out how much heat is released. And I got rid of the negative symbol just because I don't like dealing with it. Um, but because it, it's saying heat release, as long as I answer it, this much heat is released, that sort of covers the negative. But anyway, this problem says 37 grams of H2 reacts, how much heat is released. Well, hopefully we notice by now that grams is not going to work for this problem because the exchange rate we need is this. Every three moles of H2 releases 161.6 kilojoules. So we need to know how many moles of H2 we have. So we're going to start with 37 grams of H2. And we are going to, I'm going to round, I usually don't. So there's two grams of H2 for every one mole of H2. And so that will tell me how many moles of H2 I have. And normally I would continue and just keep converting, but uh, in this case I'll make a stop. So 37 divided by 2 is going to give me 18.5 moles of hydrogen. And according to this thing, for every 3 moles of hydrogen, I will get 161.6 kilojoules. So you can sort of think of it as, how many packs of 3 do I have here? About 6. So I should expect to see an answer about six times larger than that. Well, let's continue the problem. I set it up again with a fence posting. Every three moles of H2, okay, three moles of H2 on the bottom, will release 161.6 kilojoules. And so there's my setup. I'm just going to multiply this out. So I'm going to do 18.5 times 161.6. Divided by 3. That's going to give me 996.5 approximately kilojoules, which is about six times that amount. So that is how much heat is going to be released when 37 grams of hydrogen reacts. If 50 grams of hydrogen reacted, I would expect even more energy out because I'd have more moles of hydrogen. So the key to these problems is writing the exchange rate, which is based entirely on the coefficient, connecting it to this so it's always the same value, and then just doing a fence posting thing to, to figure out the that's it. So until next time, I am Derek Genova. Have a delightful day.